here we are considering the asymptotic notation big O to calculate the upper bound of the time complexity. So, the, the definition of the big O notation is like this one. Look at this particular graph along the x axis I am plotting n. So, n is increasing so it is 0 and then n is increasing and along the y axis we are plotting f n and c into g n. So, see before n is equal to n 0 before that the c into g n and f n can be equal to can be lesser than can be greater than. So, anything can happen, but when the value of n is n 0 and upwards or greater than n 0 always f of n is less than equal to c of g n. That means, c of g n will be denoting the upper bound of this particular function f of n. So, big O of g n is equal to f of n there exist positive constants c and n 0 such that 0 less than equal to f n. So, f n will be either 0 or more than that that means positive and less than equal to c into g n c into g n for all n greater than equal to n 0. Big O notation gives an upper bound for a function to within a constant factor. We write f n is equal to big O of g n if there are positive constants n 0 and c such that to the right of to the right of n 0 the value of f n always lies on or below than c of g n. So, c into g n will be the upper bound compared to f of n when the value of n is n 0 or its right hand side. That means, when the value of n is n 0 or greater than n 0. So, that is the big O notation. So, now after defining big O notation let us go for one problem solve. Proof 5 n square plus 3 n plus 1 is equal to big O of n square. So, they are proving in this way let I am considering this one as my f of n. So, function n. So, function n is equal to 5 n square plus 3 n plus 1. So, we are having this n square if you take this one common that is 5 plus 3 by n plus 1 by n square and here is less than n square if you take n square common I am having this 5 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 8 n square when n is greater than 1. When the n is greater than 1 you see if n is equal to 1 then obviously that will be equal to but when n is greater than 1 obviously this value will be greater compared to this. So, when n is greater than 1 then a 5 n square plus 3 n plus 1 will be less than 8 n square. So, from the definition 0 you see this is my definition I am writing the same this definition I am writing. So, 0 less than equal to f n less than equal to c into g n for all n greater than equal to 1. So, here c is equal to 8 n 0 is equal to 1 and g of n is equal to n square. So, as g of n is equal to n square we have written that if g, big O of g n is equal to f n. So, that is why this particular f n will be equal to big O of n square and hence proved. So, in this way we have found, found out that the complexity of this particular f of n will be big O of n square. So, in this way we have done the calculation of the upper bound. In the next videos we will be going for other symbols that is the big omega and the big theta. Please watch them they will be in the continuation of this particular video. Thanks for watching.